For this lesson, we will be talking about laws of exponents. When we have a zero or a negative exponent. So let's look at our two rules that we have. Any variable to the zero power is going to be equal to one. Actually, any base, it even could be a number, it could be positive or negative, it doesn't matter. The second rule, when we have a to the negative n, notice negative exponent, all you have to do is put a one as your numerator and write it as a fraction where a to the n is in your denominator. And then notice the x negative exponent turns positive. All right, so let's apply these rules to a few problems. If I have five to zero power, again, there's my base, zero power, my answer is one. Notice it's important that you have the whole thing in parentheses, three x to the zero power, all of that is equal to one. If it was written like this, that just means x is to the zero power. So that's the same as saying three times one is equal to three. So the parentheses is very important to pay, pay attention to. That answer is one. All right, we have a two and notice we have a negative exponent. So all I have to do is I'm going to write a one and I'm gonna put my two to the third power, or two cubed, on the bottom. Again, here, and I can actually simplify that, because we know two cubed is two times two times two, so that in simplest terms is actually one eighth. For number four, x to the negative four, I'm going to write my numerator as a one, and I'm writing x to the fourth. Again, when it becomes a denominator, the exponent is positive. Well, see the parentheses, negative seven to the zero power is actually one. So notice this does not have parentheses at all. So my two actually has an exponent of one, it's two to the first power. So my two will be my numerator, it doesn't travel at all, but my y to the negative three needs to go down below. So your answer is two over y cubed. Number seven, again, all of this is in the bracket, so the answer is one. And number eight is a little bit different from the rule. Notice we have a negative exponent here. Well, what happens is we're never allowed to have negative exponents in our final answer. So that means that I'm gonna to have to write it as my numerator, so it would be x to the third, and it would be over one, but we know it's just x to the third or x cubed. That's how you would see it written. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more Math with Marsha. See you again soon.